<laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Digital Dive In, your proper gaming talk show. This week, you got Hogwarts Laggy Frames, which you'll get into later on in this <laughs> review. And you got your boy, Sansology, also known as hey. Hufflepuff for Life. <laughs> Honestly, as our name. We I'll team Hufflepuff, just... baby! Hell yeah. I'll say, as our name suggests, we are giving you a spoiler-free Hogwarts Legacy review. We've both been playing it since it got released. Unfortunately, I could not get on the uh, early release of the game because I was still in Mexico, so I didn't have my PlayStation 5 up there, down there, rather. You know, so I just wasn't trying to pay an extra 10 bucks just to play it three days early. I mean, it. sure, if it, was, if it had multiplayer components, maybe... But I it mean, didn't, so I was okay with. I got it. I got it for the bonuses and stuff because it gives you a ton of stuff, especially no, on does. PlayStation. Especially on PlayStation, you get to get the Hogmeads, the haunted <laughs> or the haunted Hogmead quest line. You get a bunch of PlayStation Five exclusive stuff, cosmetics. You get a mount that you don't unlock until way later. So it, it, you get a bunch of stuff, but it was, for me, it was kind of worth it because I've been using all those cosmetics since I got into the game but mm -hmm. all both of us have been playing the game for about four days now since the release yeah, on fri last friday so we uh, i don't know how far you are i'm about level 10 at this point i've gone um, through you know all the introductory stuff i haven't gotten all the mm -hmm. core spells yet but i'm almost there i've been yeah i'm about no, go ahead. I, I was just saying, I was, I've been trying to like just burn through the story missions to get all the core spells and then, you know, go from there. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I've been trying to get to the point where I can unlock Alo uh, Alohomora and then just start exploring everywhere. <laughs> so, before yeah, I do side on, missions and stuff. I'm at level, I'm at level six right now. I've just been, I have did like three story quests. Uh, unlock three spells and then i've been just doing side quests and grinding like finding all the field class notes you get like 80 yeah. experience every time you find Dude, one of those i know so, like <laughs> i got I, um i ended up I, I i'm at level six purely from that and I did, i've only done like three yeah. side quests i've done you know? i've done a good amount of side quests or uh, not side quests um story missions so far okay um i've done i've gotten to like in the cross wands and did that stuff and i mm. did a the first, um, I guess, ancient magic mission with mm -hmm. Fig. I went to the restricted section. Not going to be spoiled too much with you Starcy. guys. Yeah, there, you, you, get, you get a bunch of stuff. This is just early, early, early stuff. So we're not going to be spoiling anything for you guys in this review of the game. Just trying to show you where we're at. And, you know, show you how far we've gotten a little bit without giving away too many story bits i mean we can still like review the and what we're going to do is just review the overall like Basically. not story everything besides story like how the game functions plays you know our expectations versus reality um and can, and, and, and then the graphics and, yeah. the and we'll talk about like our thoughts about the story without giving too much away as well because yeah. that will definitely feed into gameplay and stuff as well but before we jump in, just want to give a quick uh, attention or PSA to the controversy around this game. Stop being bitches. The game is fun. And JK Rowling is a cunt. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, the controversy around this game is dumb. Like, if you're boycotting this game, whatever you do, you definitely not the hill to die on. As she right. has no control over the game. And the devs really, really give a shit about LGBTQ and trans the trans community so yeah why would you punish like hundreds of yeah, people all those, who worked on this game for the actions of one person doesn't yeah, make all those sense. devs that we saw do the do the long plays or what was it the the showcases yeah like all those devs were like they just did they they gave off a fun like hey passionate vibe. exactly we're we're just fans like you guys you know exactly so, um, don't punish a whole bunch of lgbtq and trans supporters for the actions of one annoying woman. All right. Well, this is this is the one case where like that's impossible. Now this this game is ironclad. Like this, yeah, there's I mean, no sure. amount of is... bombing. There's no amount of anything that can tarnish this game. At this exactly. Point. Now this and initial, that is gold status. I think I'm initial, sorry. I think initial thoughts of this game are it's really freaking good. 
Yeah. It's I mean, this game is like gold status. Like, yeah. it's already there. Like, it's a, <laughs> it's a past Elden Ring. I'm sorry, it's a past God of War. I'm sorry, it's a past Spider Man. But like, it, th- this is this has more are you fandom talking, behind it. Are you talking it. sales? Or are you talking popularity? Because I'm talking I'm talking a little bit of both because this this <laughs> this franchise has been the only thing that's been around longer than what I just said was Spider Man. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, everything else has had legendary status, but not as legendary as Harry Potter. This shit's I mean, fair. I mean, fair. And like, I would so say, like, I would say, Spider Man is definitely a more popular game than even this one. But at the same time, it came out at a different time. Not even right. a different time. It came out like twenty eighteen. So you know, we didn't have. I mean, some, a lot of the social media stuff that we have now. Like, mm-hmm. I've been seeing you know mm-hmm. people on TikTok stream the crap out of Hogwarts Legacy, and I'm seeing like the majority of my for you page on TikTok is Hogwarts Legacy. I'm just like, hold my. I mean, God. It, it hasn't changed too much. The only thing that's new is TikTok since Spider Man. Fair, I fair. Think. Hogwarts hasn't been getting any actual bad press. There's just a very right. vocal minority who is shitting on this game because of J.K. Rowling. Other than that, all media outlets, all you know, reviewers video game journalists have been praising this game um yeah. but yeah enough about that i think we should just jump on right into it um yeah so, so first thing we really want to uh touch on are graphics because there's a lot of hit or miss stuff between the different consoles the different platforms you're playing on and the different modes that you play in so like overall graphics are decent they're not not it doesn't you know remake the wheel in any way but the art style that they chose for Hogwarts Legacy, I think, did the game a lot of justice. Yeah, very fitting. I, I agree. Um, I would say I, I, I really hate people putting a graphics disclaimer with this game because the game doesn't look. It's like, oh, this isn't the best looking game. I don't expect every game to look like Last of Us. <laughs> I don't want every game to exactly. look like Last of Us. I want it to look like what the devs wanted to look like. Yeah, you like know? this game didn't go for, like, you know, <laughs> photorealism like right. some other games do, like Last of Us or, you know, Resident Evil or mm-hmm. whatever. A lot of those games try to really go for that photorealistic look instead yeah. of giving the game an actual art style, whereas Hogwarts Legacy definitely gives it a unique art style. Uh, kind of, I, I don't want to say cartoony, but almost... Mm-hmm like fantastical look to it just like I, fantastical i would say yeah, yeah just like it's more fantasy very driven. nice i like it a lot also yeah. i apologize if the recording is a little bit gl- laggy glitchy i don't know why it's been weird with this pla- or with the uh, brave talk that we're using but that's actually uh it's kind of fitting because I know frame rate is kind of hit or miss depending on what platform or what mode you're using because, I mean, he'll tell you about the frame rate on PC, but real quick, I just want to say, if you're playing on performance, frame rate's fine on PlayStation 5. If you're playing on fidelity or fidelity ray tracing for the game, it tanks. The frame rate absolutely tanks. And it's weird because, like, yeah, it might look good, really good, when you're playing on fidelity and ray tracing because you get the really nice lighting, you get the really, really intricate details of the game, of the world and everything. But the frame wow, rate when you're playing on fidelity mode, absolutely tanks. It goes down to 30, 30 FPS or lower, really, really bad. But then when you switch to performance mode, it really takes away the majority of those really intricate, really, really nice details. It's yeah. kind of a bummer. There's some good lighting aspects in the game, but it's really random. Like you'll be walking through and you'll see like this nice, you know, lighting come through the window, but then you go in the library and that's gone. And it's just like, what the heck? So it's I mean, really bizarre. It, it is. And I'm talking I, specifically I, on PS5 because that's what I'm playing. So I, I actually just, I hate, quality mode on anything just because i don't why the fuck do i need to see reflections in an r and we're in a generation that where reflections are pretty much native to games at this point yeah. like it doesn't even matter if it's like you're using pixel art it doesn't matter if you're using photorealism it doesn't matter like most games have reflections in there why do i need extra reflection you know what i mean like well sometimes, doesn't make any sometimes the performance mode will take away all that like they'll get rid of most of the reflections and ray tracing and some of those details to make the game run better. That's what 
Hogwarts Legacy does. Like when you're playing on performance mode, it takes away a lot of those intricate details. In most cases, I don't mind that. Like I played on, you know, performance mode for most games in the last, you know, three some years since I got the yeah. PS5. But the reason that I was really inching towards fidelity mode in Hogwarts Legacy is purely because of the castle because the castle's gorgeous and I want oh, to see my all God, those yeah. gorgeous little details in the game that the dev team painstakingly added because yeah, it that's... does it looks gorgeous but on performance yeah. mode it makes it look a bit dull in my opinion yeah, let's go on. Let's go on on this fucking gra castle graphically. <laughs> Not even gameplay yet. Let's go yeah. on, on this castle graphically. Yo, this thing looks so magical and just—it's it, like awe inspiring. It's almost yeah. like it is so crazy because like I've gone through different parts of the castle and it's like this is the this is the you know stair gr grand stairway or whatever yeah. and like things like the castle just met, like the stairs magically appear and like there are certain parts of no. the game where like it doesn't appear so you get close to it and you're just like yo what is this you know you know how do i get here and things just it just feels so 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 magical and like and like with the paintings all being looking at you and yeah. being active just like in the movies it is just like gradually this game is just so impressive and they put like you said they put so much love and time into the nuances of this castle and i've gotten i've already gotten lost multiple times like they <laughs> warned that we would yeah. you know and um uh, I think graphically, I think also a, uh, I think uh, the um, custom like character customization kind of fits into that. Where yeah, like you know, um, so like my character customization, as soon as I got in, I made a character, and I actually found it surprising that it kind of looked like me from like when I was fifteen. I know, so, I kind of, I kind of did it's that so too. Weird. I was like, yes, yo. So like, and and I do wish that there was facial hair in it because I had. I had a full beard by the time I was 14. My so I kind of wish that was. <laughs> Dude. So, what I, feel, the heck? I feel like I should have, like, between 13 and 14, like, it grew over over the summer. By the time I went to high school, I, like, had, I had everything besides a mustache. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I remember Bro. that shit. Oh, my God. So I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling like I'm underrepresented because a lot of us had fresh hair by the time we were. <laughs> I swear to God. A lot of us had fresh hair by the time we were 15, 16. So. Um, and I'm a fifth year. I should definitely be having some facial hair, bro. I am sorry. <laughs> uh, but, oh uh, but God. no, it, but no. So like I, I surprisingly made a character that might've looked like me. I gave him gray eyes though. I gave him like whitish gray eyes. Like, I think that was cool. But, um, but that was surprising. I didn't think I would be able to make somebody that look close, close to like, close to looking like me. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got to make like, a character that looked kind of like me as well. But, uh, but though, yeah, because the hairstyle I picked is like, one that I see like point? on freaking everyone. I'm like, oh come on, <laughs> stop it. But so I mean some annoying. people did have some people did have the complaint that like the way you sound and the way you look is like no matter what NPC you do, it all has a similar look and sound to it. Which I mean, yeah, I, kinda I guess I agree with that, but like and I mean, I just said fuck it because I wanted my character to have a deep voice. So he has a deep robotic voice because every time you change the pitch, it like yeah, makes it more, more robotic. Yeah, that's one thing I hope that they fix is the voices. The voices were kind of weird for me. But I mean, going back to, you know, the frame rate and performance and graphics and stuff, like I know you've been having issues on PC. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to just get graphics out the way so we could just go in on performance because um, I'm about to get very loud and very unpleasant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, YouTube, fuck you because you're about to fucking censor the shit out of this, and I don't care. Oh um, I, I was, I was, I was really happy about. Hogwarts Legacy. I'm gonna just tell you a story. I was really happy about. I'll keep it quick though. I was really happy about Hogwarts Legacy. You know, I was like, but I'm also like, I've been also slowly been trying to upgrade my PC gear and just upgrade my PC setup so I can become an all powerful demi PC god. Not even all, <laughs> not even demi, just all powerful PC True god. Right? Master race. So yeah, exactly. So like, I decided to upgrade my monitor this time. Just tackle my monitor. Um, and I got a new 240 hertz monitor, and so far it has been fucking magical i see myself right now and i look beautiful you know so i just it just everything has been life-changing with this thing and i got it on account of hogwarts legacy is coming out coming out on pc maybe i can get some extra frames uh, out uh higher than 60 yeah. you know i have a pc i have a uh i7 9007k 
with a 200 uh 2070 super graphics mm-hmm. card so i figured and i'm 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 above the recommended i'm above the recommended settings yeah and also the what what what's, what's the other one's called the recommended settings and then the uh there's a minimum and then the minimum in the, in the recommended <laughs> yeah, so i'm above both you know well, that's and plus. then that's a plus i i got this game i booted it up on fucking friday and like I couldn't even I couldn't even get a consistent thirty frames, bro. Damn. Like, like, and, and I was I was I was I was <laughs> suffering. I was suffering, you know. And it, it would be going from I, I had I kept it at sixty, you know. Tried to do one twenty. I kept it at sixty. Yeah. Turn DLS on. Turn DLS off. Turn VSync on. Turn VSync off. You know. Switched it from you know medium settings, low settings, high settings, whatever, and like it just the frame rate was just constantly all over the place, That's and like there would be there would be hits of sixty, like I would yeah. get smooth with certain parts, but like it was very few, far in between. Right? And I'm pretty sure but combat was even worse. Combat was okay. It was oh, it was fine. Right. Like it was weird. It was weird. It was because like you know you're doing one on one combat right now in the yeah. beginning. So like it was very weird. But like it, it was it was okay. It was it, it, I had a smooth ish experience and I was just like yeah. I need I need a patch. I need a patch. You know. <laughs> and then lo and behold, the patch okay, comes out today. Patch. I come home. After having a nice long active day at work, yeah. looking forward to playing some good old Hogwarts on my 200 430 monitor, and I get into the game, and I am bouncing between five to ten to fifteen to twenty to thirty, and I'm like, where was the update at? Damn. Where was the fucking update? And then, and then not only now, now I have poppins of NPCs, now I have poppins of things in general, yeah. now I have fucking like it, it just look, it's like it made it worse. I'm just like, what the fuck, Jeez. man? Yeah, because you know? this this update was only for PC and Xbox. The, yeah. the PS5 update is coming in, in a few days, I think. But this was literally a performance patch. Like, supposed to make performance patch. And they literally better. fixed things. And I've had Are this, you sure I, you updated? <laughs> I don't... I, I checked. That's the thing. I checked. I checked. So, I checked Steam. Usually, there's always news when there's an update yeah. on a game. I checked Steam. I didn't see a news article update. But then I checked the internet. And apparently, it went live this morning. So, I... I don't know what's going on. Do you try really to manually don't. update it? I I was about to, but then I was just like, you know what? I don't even know. I think I think it already <laughs> automatically updated it. I I don't know. I mean, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes Steam is weird, but and then yeah. I played. Well, I played it on my Steam Deck this morning to see if that was more stable, and that performance pretty much stayed abysmal i will get into that later in my mini steam deck review once we get to the end of the video um but like just i've been so dis, and that's why i haven't been playing it that much because i just spent a good amount of money on a new monitor yeah. and i want to use those fucking frames i want to use those two and i've been playing other games and seeing the performance jump and it has been fucking life-changing mm-hmm. uh, awesome you know and then what's also mad is this I look five meters to my left, and I see it being played smooth as butter on my fucking 4K gaming TV <laughs> with my fucking PS5, well, then why and which just... my girl got the better product. <laughs> then why I am just... fucking living. Then why don't you just play it on there until it's fixed on PC? Because I already started it on here. I'm not going okay. back. <laughs> I, have I wish to... you could. I wish you could like migrate saves. That would be super yeah, cool. I... Cloud save needs to be like the next thing the gaming industry as a whole yeah. is investing because it is revolutionary. But I'm just like I, I I honestly have the feeling that I am not going to play this for a while. Like I might have to just take a step back and just not. Play I mean, you could just until, you like, could just start it over on your PS5. And just, I mean, yeah, I, I could. Cause you're not that far in, anyways. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not at all. I mean, if I was dedicated, I could probably make the progress I made in five days in a day because that's how little I yeah. did play of the story. <laughs> but let me not be, let's not be mistaken, family. Let's not be mistaken, DDI, proper gaming talk show. Just because we didn't play a lot doesn't mean we can't give a full review on it. Yeah, I mean, we, we, got, through, we got through like the main parts. <laughs> we got into Hogwarts. We have explored. And I've been the, running around and game. just doing side quests and everything. Yeah. And like, I've been playing the game. I just haven't tackled the story too much. No, you know, and that's, and that's not something that's really important to me. I feel like 
this is one of those games where like even though it's an open world RPG story means very very little to me like I don't I even mean, I don't, the story I don't care really how no, go ahead I prefer I actually really really like the story so far but we're gonna get into that later I, mean, I guess mm-hmm. we can touch on it now I really like the story I really like the story that they you know set up in the beginning of the game is really really interesting <laughs> although it's I mean they might explain this at the end of the game but I'm curious about why you know we're I'm a fifth year <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so curious about that but like where this ability has been since this game because it's oh, nowhere to, with, to be in the rest of magic. Harry Potter or Fantastic Beasts or anything Unless this is somewhat related to Grindelwald, I'm not really sure. I mean, I know it's not really. I mean, I, the ability to see ancient magic, and ancient all that magic, stuff. and interact yeah. with ancient magic. Yeah. yeah, like where is that? I mean, where have you read there? the books? Like, are you like, are you like? Oh, I've read the books. It's with... never mentioned. Okay, that. it's never okay. mentioned. It's definitely something that they created for this game, which I'm okay with. At least I could, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's something that they just created for this game for this world, but. I mean, I love the idea, the idea that like, you know, someone comes along every so years and can see ancient magic or like can harness ancient magic. Super mm. freaking cool. I love that aspect. Definitely a way to make your character unique and stand out. And no, absolutely. I mean, it's also a trope that we see all the freaking time is like kid, super special that nobody like rarely anyone else has this ability to do goes off saves the world. So I mean, mm-hmm. you know, it's that. So I, I also <laughs> wanted to, I mean, I also wanted to touch on this game in general in terms of just open world because they were, you know, a lot of the world is gorgeous, how, right? A lot of people had questions about how big the world is. World's a lot of people huge. had questions about like, you know, what is going into this open world, yeah. and like, you know, I just, I just want to say like this open world. I haven't even gotten out of a castle yet, and I've already been <laughs> lost multiple times. Yeah, like this world is, is very nuts. big. It is very maze like. There is nooks and crannies everywhere. There's something to do in yeah. literally every corner of the castle. There are things to do, things to catch, things to like pay attention to. The, the like like a, like we were saying earlier with the graphics. It's not even just with the graphics. It's with the gameplay as well. It is so nuanced. Like there are just really so is. many different things that they put into the game that they didn't have to do. You know, like even just grabbing the pages, the the field yeah. pages. You know, like like we said, like that gives you like eighty to hundred XP. Does. It like does. You, that. It gives you crazy XP. Like, you want I'm an easy almost, way? I've mm-hmm. almost ex- I'm, I've almost like leveled up to where I am now just by getting pages. And I'm not even trying to farm pages, I, or not farm, but like, I'm not actually trying to like hunt them down. I just find them, whichever ones I come across. And mm-hmm. I'm like, bloop, 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 bloop. I kind of, I kind of semi am because I remember when I first got into the castle, I'm like, all right, I remember they say you can collect flying pages. Well, when flying, can I start collecting yeah, these right. flying pages? Once like, learn, I, just, I just see them around. I'm like, yo, is, give Once me. you learn Accio. <laughs> Accio is super handy. And, like, the reason I'm not, like, you know, really diving into exploring the castle or the grounds yet is because I'm waiting to unlock the Alohomora spell, which comes in the later in the story. I guess. Not later in the story, but, like, uh, in the early bits of the story, which is why I'm trying to just blaze through the story missions get all the core spells and then start exploring from there i've explored a little bit like because what something i did and i recommend people do this turn off two things your mission trackers and your mini map turn them off get rid of them way more immersive you learn the castle a little bit better and if you're if you get lost you can just tap up on the d-pad and it'll little, tell you where they go. Yeah. And a little like you know mm-hmm. page will fly out of your field field book and show you the path if you get lost. But I highly recommend just walking around the castle and getting lost because that is the most fun. This um, kind of this kind of flows right into the gameplay though, right? Because yeah. the exploration one of my favorite things so far in this game. The gameplay itself, I have zero gripes with the gameplay in general. I had some gripes with some, I guess, some performance issues, which. Mm-hmm. I'll get into in a bit, but like gameplay wise, it's so much fun. I was concerned about the combat I w- when I first I- got into it. Mm-hmm. Not when I first got into it, but like when I was watching trailers and whatnot. I was kind of concerned about the combat because I was like, this could either be really, really good or really, really bad. 
You know? No, once they explained it, I I saw what they were going for. Like once I was like, all right, the combat's gonna be fine. You know, um <laughs> it was it was gonna be fine. I I'm just gonna have to get not even get used to I'm just gonna have to learn what I need to do to craft the better wands. Um there's already an hour article. Well, you don't really craft well, I've been wands. I've been saving articles about how I can see every time one pops you up. You do you don't craft it. better wands though. That's not well I mean there was an article that uh said how you that Gave you uh, you play by play of how you craft the elder wand. And oh, I know well, yeah. That's like I mean, a, you can craft your own. You can craft your own wand when you get to Hogsmeade because you go to Ollivander yeah. and you get your own, you get your own wand because you start off with like a second hand secondary wand. wand. Yeah, yeah. But that's the only time you get to create your wand. And I don't believe that any of the actual like settings affect the game. It's just what you want. It's just for. Yeah. It's just like. A little Easter egg for fans of the game. Like, mm -hmm. if you connect your Pottermore account or WB Games account, then mm -hmm. your if you did that before, then mm -hmm. your wand is automatically created in the game when you go there. But you can change it if you don't like, you know, certain stuff about your wand. I kept yeah. it the same. I kept my dogwood wand with my dragon dragon hair core and uh, super swishy, surprisingly swishy. And it's eleven and a half inches. That's my <laughs> the one thing that I did change. The one thing Big I did change was the, uh, <laughs> the style of the wand because you can choose from like six different styles. I think six or eight different styles, like how it looks. I went with a little spiral, and I think that's funny. The spiral <laughs> wand looks super cool. Did you make your own wand yet, or no? You're not. No, yet. not yet. Oh man, yet. dude, you got, dude, just get there. Just. Go literally, bro. The story, bro. Literally, bro. I can't even walk five minutes without popping. Around. Okay, like, like I said, I'm play sorry. it on your PS5. Restart it. Uh, play it on your PS5. Uh, Just do it because I know you want to play the game. And PS5, it plays really, really freaking well. I know, and I, I just I wanted it to I wanted to play it on my Steam Deck and on my PC. What do you want from me? Um, this is the one time the where this is one of the examples <laughs> where like it, they do really well on the console. And surprisingly, like not even surprisingly, but just like PC optimization is not there. Well, I think um, I think they got to PC after the fact. Like it was almost like a PC port. I want to say. But I could, uh, be, I could be wrong with that. I have a feeling it was designed primarily for Xbox Series X and PS5 because even the last gen version of the game mm -hmm. got pushed back till freaking April, which is nuts. That's that's a fair that's a fair theory. I'm not even going to push back on that. That's a fair theory. Uh, I have absolutely idea, no idea if that's true sure or not. But yeah. Um. But I mean, yeah. It just it just feels like PC. I'm mean, just just it's just. Absolutely, and then like it still has a mostly positive rating on Steam. So it like does. I guess it does. there are there are some people that didn't have any lag problems, or some people that do or don't. And uh, this is why I'm investing in a 3080 Ti i9. <laughs> so, do you have any specific favorite parts about the game since you've been playing it? Besides um, anything we talked about already? Uh, honestly, I think it's I think it's the fact that like. Even though there isn't like loads of NPCs, it still feels alive. You know, it, it really they found is. a way to like, you know, not have to completely fill it with stuff for it to feel alive and for it to feel active and feel immersive. Yeah. You know, where um, there's like groups of kids everywhere, mm -hmm. but then there's also statues to interact with. Yeah. There's like you can literally <laughs> interact with most of what you see and most of what you do. There's always a magical factor to it, yeah. and then you do a video, and then like something will come up that you never even knew was there. Yeah, you know, just really the sneaky. the wonder and awe of everything is just and the magic of everything, and just you know, I. I'm not even a hardcore Harry Potter fan. I'm like more of a casual Harry <laughs> Potter fan, but like I still like felt so I just I felt it so much there, you know. And it's just it's just this is like just a really uniquely immersive game just no, because that's fair. like it, I I could I could go on and on about this game. <laughs> I the one gripe I have with this game is the something that is not getting fixed right now. Yeah. But, I, know. Um, I know. But besides that, everything has just been literally no pun intended magical yeah so, um, no i agree with you there what about you yeah i have i have more gripes than favorites but that's just because like they're like the gripes i have are like small nitpicky shit right mm -hmm. just stuff that i was like oh this could have been better this could have looked cooler this would have been better if it worked this way but it's stuff 
very small stuff that doesn't really affect the game all that much more. Well, go, uh, yeah, but, I'm definitely curious to see what your thoughts are. But like my favorite part so far is like, you know, you know, there's tons to do. So much shit to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's by. so much to do. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, from, you know, the collectibles to mini games that actually teach you how to use the spells better and make you better at using them mm -hmm. to, you know, just exploring every single nook and cranny. It feels like the castle goes on forever and ever and ever. Like, it goes mm -hmm. up forever and then it goes down into the dungeons. And it's like, mm, never yeah. run out of space. It's like, just yeah. when you thought you hit a dead end, it keeps freaking going. It's like, what is happening? That's so cool. I love that. It feels like just a, like, it doesn't just feel like, you know, a huge open world in terms of like linear aspect. It's mm -hmm. like vertical as well, you know? So mm -hmm. I love that. I think that's super, super cool. A lot of the places, a lot of like the little houses and stuff you can go into and find different collectibles. One of my other favorite things is there's so much goddamn loot in this game. Oh my there God. But you do have a loot capacity that you can upgrade later on apparently. But the one thing I really, 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 really love is that they made it so you can change the appearance of your outfit while taking the benefits from a different piece of your outfit. Oh, Transmog, yeah, Transmog. I Transmog. love that so much. Thank you, because some of the really, really cool pieces of gear look freaking ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't want to wear them because they look dumb. I'm on my way look, to unlock the regalia look, outfit, like a clown. and it looks, it looks very annoying. Yeah. Um, so I, I want that regalia outfit, but like it does look very annoying. Hopefully it comes with some good stats. <laughs> it, um, that's the thing, like I found so many outfits, for so many robes. I love the robes for like the majority of stuff. Although a lot of them come with like, they cover up your entire outfit and that's kind of a bummer. But yeah. there's one that I'm looking for that like kind of like covers like here. I found a cape, a black cape. I'm just like I look ridiculous, but it's super cool. No, yeah. But, I, right uh, now I'm rocking. <laughs> I'm not. Right now I did find a cape that I like. Right now I'm rocking this black and gold cape, and I have these nice. uh, gold uh, glasses that are tinted, and That's I have cool. a, and I have like a. You're 70, making a, yourself a, look like 18. the Riz King, like. <laughs> And I got like, and then I also have a cap on right now. Yeah. So like, I'm pipping right now. Yeah. You know, I'm, I didn't I'm wear a cat. On. I didn't wear a hat because I like the way my hair looks. Even though apparently everyone else in school has the same freaking hairstyle, <laughs> including Sebastian. I'm just like, man, one of the main NPCs you come across has the same freaking hairstyle, which means I have an NPC <laughs> hairstyle. So annoying. That's one of the things I. That's one of the things I don't like. But anyways. Um, yeah, I like that the spells that you get. Wow, like you only get like 18 spells, I think. They're really, 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 really cool. And they yeah. actually like, whereas like, you know, Elden Ring gets you like 200 different spells. Most of those are fluff. There's zero fluff in Hogwarts yeah. Legacy so far. Like, and, oh my God. And you can switch them out really quick like that. And I like that a lot. Super and, nice. And it's funny because I'm actually going to do a video on my own channel about... Uh, for spoken fluidity in combat versus uh, Hogwarts, no, because Hogwarts both, like, like, is so much better. They're one hundred percent like they're both <laughs> they're both really. I think they're both really fluid games, but in different ways. But I'm just gonna. I just wanted to say like I'm gonna do a because people have been kind of comparing them too because they're two I mean, spell yeah, games, spell heavy whatnot. games. Yeah, yeah, that came out, and so like I think they they did good combat for both, but just in different ways. And I really like Hogwarts Legacy. They made pairing very easy and very yeah, easy they to participate, did. very easy to you know do and work out. You know, even for people that aren't savvy with games like that with parry heavy stuff. You know, but like. I played Dark Souls. I played. I'm Dragon still Ball trying to get used play, to the like, parry system games. in this game because yeah. that's actually one of my gripes. That's one of my gripes is that you can't remap the controller, and that's really freaking annoying. That is I don't really like annoying. that. I I hate it when games do not let you remap shit because yeah. when I was doing I was doing one of the Cross Wands Duelist challenges things, and like I'm playing on hard, right? And it, it's hard, right? It's actually hard because. I'm trying like certain. Uh, I'm playing hard as well. Yeah. Certain certain uh, shield types, you have to like you know combat them differently. Like the purple shield, you have to accio the person, whereas the yellow shield, you have to livioso them. But like 
if you're holding if you're holding down R2 to use the different types of spells, sometimes like if you are trying to do that to someone and then you're getting attacked from someone else, parrying with triangle will just end up causing you to cast Lumos or whatever you have on binded to triangle instead of the parry or the protego if you're still holding down right. R2. So you have to right. like constantly flip between them and sometimes this like the timing is off. I'd much, much rather parry with like L1 instead. Yeah. Because that would just make sense because then you don't have to worry about letting go of R2. You could just parry mm -hmm. and then cast whatever other spell you want. It just would make it so much easier. And no, I know it's really mean, annoying. Yeah. Really, really annoying because that's fucked me up a lot and killed me mm -hmm. a bunch. I could not do the adept. Uh, I had to lower the difficulty for the adept duelist challenge because I just kept dying and dying and dying because of that. I'm like, I and I did do my first cross wash, cross wash challenge. <laughs> the first um, one's and easy as shit. And then join the club, you know, yeah. on hard. It, it's kind of challenging on hard. But no, no, it, no, no, the second, the second but... duelist challenge is really mm -hmm. hard because you find three dudes and two of them have the purple shield. One of them has the yellow one. That's annoying as shit. Yeah. Oh my god. But uh, yeah, and I think once you, uh, I think once you um, just memorize yeah, the combat, once you get used to it, it's a little. I bit think easier. it's going to be a lot easier, but it's also going to be very, very intense. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I, I am, am, I am to too. So I'm looking much. forward to getting better. I just love the practice mm -hmm. more. Of it. Yeah. One, one other gameplay gripe, gripe I have, along with like you know the pairing and everything, the camera's kind of janky. Camera's kind of weird. I don't really like the lock-on system. It's not really responsive. But at the same time, you kind of need it if you're fighting a bunch of people. A bunch at the of people. Same time. Yeah, exactly. Because like you sometimes like the auto lock-on doesn't really work as well mm. as it should. So I will say that. Um, other than that, some performance issues that I don't really like. Uh, mm. Well, we talked about the audio. Like unless you choose the, like the the default audio for the male or female, mm -hmm. everything else is either tinny or robotic. Those yeah. are the options you have. And mm -hmm. I don't know why. That's really, really bad optimization. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's something they're going to fix, but I don't know. Because they literally just take the default voice and pitch it up or pitch it down. They should mm -hmm. have given you actually different voices, you know, voices yeah. instead of just one. But, you know, I get it. It's a first time. Like First time yeah. really making this kind of game, so you know, and it's not even that, it's just this. unfortunate because, like, any game character customization, if you can actually change the voices, there's almost no dialogue, it's only for grunts, yeah. And, like, exactly. you notice this that, kind of a bummer. Like, this one, there's a lot you know, of dialogue, so I feel like yeah. that's why they yeah. only give you like two different voices, male or female. Because, like, because, like, if you're thinking about that's it, way like, faster to do. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, if you, and it's also money, it's also conservative money-wise. Oh like, if you think about it, you're, you're getting, you have 10, you have 10 completely different voices. You have to pay 10 people exactly. to record 40 hours to 60 yeah. hours of gameplay. That's a lot. That's a lot of money, you know? So I get it. Yeah. I would like us to get to a point in the industry where, we can supplement that, <laughs> you know, and have different yeah. voices and have dialogue. Because, like, the last one of the last games I played that was like that was God Eater. The character creations that don't that allow you to create different voices, but yeah. don't allow the character to talk. Oh uh, yeah, a you lot know? of games are like that. A lot, a lot of games are like that, you know. And it's really disappointing because, like, it's like you want the individuality, you want to hear the expressions that's going yeah. on, but like sometimes, like, oh, 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 you know. So, yeah. like, it's really weird. Um, so, but yeah, that that is that is just a little bit of a gripe. But uh, uh, anyway, what, what was yours? The rest, the rest of mine were just performance stuff. I mean, there's some texture popping every now and then, especially when you're going from doors. Doors are weird weird in this game they are very weird it's so annoying because sometimes you go up to a door and it won't open and it's just loading the next you have to wait for it to load for it to... so like there's some performance stuff like this is on the ps but it's right? also it's like i never had any issues with this with like horizon or god of war or ghost of tsushima mm -hmm. okay. however, however hogwarts legacy like there's definitely a lot more detail because the render distance you know, like yeah. constantly going in and out, in and out, in and out. So mm -hmm. that kind of makes sense because even with uh, Horizon, when you go in somewhere, there's a loading screen. So yeah. there is that. And I mean, I think it's impressive. I, even with all that, I, I do still think it's impressive that 
the door is the loading screen. That, that That's still super impressive. Like, yeah. even though it's not, like, I know what they were going for with, like, seamless transitions and everything, but it just, it, you know, yeah. he, even though we're in a quote unquote next generation, you still got to give developers yeah, and no, I know. games to catch up. And most like, of the time it works fine. And like, most yeah, of the time it's so, fine. It's only once in a while you hit a door that it hasn't loaded anything else beyond it yet. So you have to sit there for like a couple seconds and then you can go through. But for yeah. the most part, you can go in and out and there's no issue, especially when you're like just going across a bridge or something. Mm. It'll just load everything in immediately and you can go. But if you're going like physically outside the castle towards like Hogsmeade or been forced or whatever else, it might take a little bit longer to load. So there is that. Um, other than that, I don't have any other. Oh, the one thing, the one super picky thing, the one immersion thing that I thought should have been a thing, but isn't. Like the flu powder locations that you unlock while you're walking through the castle, which are their fast travel. Love that they added like just fast travel being flu powder, right? Love that because you, that can't, really you can't apparate out inside Hogwarts, right? On the grounds mm -hmm. of Hogwarts. You can't apparate, apparently, according to Dumbledore in like Harry Potter, whatever. But the flu powder is a really, really cool little addition. However, I wish they were a little bit better with the lore of flu powder and that you could only fast travel when you go to a flu powder location because they're everywhere. They're yeah. literally everywhere. So it'd be super cool if instead of like, because right now as it is, you could just fast travel to any flu powder location wherever you are. Like you just go on your map, hit travel mm. and it goes. And that makes sense if you're like out in the middle of nowhere but within the castle, it would have been really, really cool if you had to physically go to a flu powder location and then fa like choose your fast travel location from there. That would have been really, uh, really I like I would have liked that. Uh, I would have pushed back on that. I, that. That just would have made more sense for the lore, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yes and no, but like I, I for I mean, because it's not technically I mean it, it is magic, but it's not like it's not like magic. It's not defensive or uh, it's not defensive no, it's or um, attack magic. But no, it's like it's, it's you know. I mean, it's, here's the thing. I and I appreciate games that let me travel anywhere I want. Yeah, if I'm okay, lost, I get and, and but but the thing is, it's also like with Hogwarts. They already told you you would get lost. Yeah. If I'm lost, uh, I don't feel like getting more lost, and I don't feel like trying to walk my way to the nearest fire, you know, pit. No, nah, just right. so I can fast travel. Have you so, fast traveled a lot? Because I no, been, I've been walking mostly everywhere. I yeah, no, I've been trying to just learn the area the and just trying to because there's so much to pick yeah. up and so much to do like i've just been walking exactly. through things i don't want to miss anything but like i think eventually like once i get like 30 40 hours in i might start fast oh, yeah, because, 100%. Like, you know a lot of people a lot of people have even noted in articles and stuff that like once you start getting legendary gear and like you start really knowing yeah. what you want and getting picky there's really no reason to just walk around no, you know? so right. I, especially I after it. you start collecting everything else but like for na for like I'm pretty sure for like the first thirty hours I'm not gonna be fast traveling a whole lot. Except mm -hmm. if I'm like way outside Hogwarts and I just wanna get back in quickly, then probably Yeah. But than that. Yeah, so But that's um, um that's really all I have. Um all right, now to do my mini two minutes Steam Deck review because yeah. I know this video is going a little bit long. Um, this game has gotten verified, and there were articles about it. It got verified for the Steam Deck. Performance on Steam Deck is fucking awful. I have not had a good time playing this game since I bought it on my 200 foot turn monitor or on my Steam Deck, which it got verified for. Fuck this performance on this game. Like this game, but fuck the performance on this game. I, I can't. <laughs> I, I fucking can't. You know, I, I just, I just, mm, Sorry, it's so close it. to being, it's so close to being fucking perfect. And it's just like the one thing that's missing is the one thing they're dragging their feet on. I, I'm, just, I'm sure they're working tirelessly day and night to fix this shit. Yeah, but come on, I need you to fucking fix this shit. Like, I, <laughs> I paid okay, this okay, this WB, you heard it. Doctor, Avalanche, okay. WB, Porky Games. <laughs> Fix the performance. And honestly, yeah, honestly, seriously, I hope there's a patch for the performance mode on PS5 as well that kind of adds a little bit more detail while, you know, keeping it at 60 frames because that'd be really nice. But like, not to go in on a tangent, but this is exactly what the fuck happened with Gotham Knights. And yeah. yes, they have fixed it. They have, well, at least on PC, they have fixed it and stabilized it more. Hey, and, at least, at you know, least Hogwarts Legacy has a performance or fidelity mode. That's more than I can say for 
Gotham Knights. Gotham they Knights. didn't even have that option. Yeah, that now launch from console was really, really shitty. And hopefully one day they will give it a 60 FPS patch. I did um, end up buying it. I had not played it. Probably won't play it for a while. It might be a summer game I play when there's nothing else to play. <laughs> Maybe. But like nowadays, it's always... You're getting a PC, bro. There's always yeah. things to play. <laughs> but Shout guys, out to my man Ascending. Yo, yeah. let's go. I am going to be um, getting a low-level PC. But, you know, it's going to be a start. Start your PC, you know? <laughs> it's something that I can, you know, play Cult of the Lamb on, basically. But guys, hey. how do you feel about Hogwarts Legacy? Have you played it yet, or are you waiting? I, have you boycotted it? If you have, screw you. <laughs> the game is great. We both love it. Minor, well, for me, minor performance issues for him, a little bit more major ones on PC. Hopefully, they get fixed soon. But in general, I think this is definitely a buy from us. Definitely oh, yeah, recommend absolutely. buying the game, spending time in the game, diving into the game. Really, really good. Definitely the best or Harry Potter game that we've ever gotten. The bar is already set pretty low just because we've only had movie-based games and Lego games, so there's that. But you will not be disappointed with this game at all from a story and gameplay standpoint. Maybe I mean, probably. hell, even if you're not a Hogwarts fan, you're still <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It. It's a really, really good... I, action RPG. It's really, really good, if, even if you don't like Hogwarts or Harry Potter stuff, you know? So, highly recommend getting it. But, guys, let us know all your thoughts if you played the game yet in the comment section below. This is where we're going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. That bell so you notify know whenever these good videos go live. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We're off on all <laughs> social media, so check us out on there. You know, Twitter, Facebook, my free cams, TikTok. Check us. I out. mean, if you want me to show my black ass, you know, just join our OnlyFans. We make this That's joke every say. single time. We're <laughs> we still haven't opened up an OnlyFans or a Patreon, which I really want to do, but that's just extra stuff. Anyways, guys. Also, kiddos, I have a really good new job, so I will be trying to. I will be actively getting a Steam Deck for the fucking channel. I know we keep saying this, but it's actually going to happen. All um, you have to do is subscribe. All you have to do is subscribe, and you have a chance to win a free Steam Deck. Look subscribe at that. that's and awesome. put a comment on our video. Um, what? Just comment on our videos, subscribe, and you'll be in a raffle to get a new Steam Deck. And that thing is amazing. Despite what I just said about the Steam Deck performance of this game, <laughs> that thing is bonkers amazing. It is so convenient. And like, hey, if you're in a relationship and you like video games, you can play it while you snuggle it with your bae. So like, that's relationship goals there. There Some we go. Some people might not uh, like that. So make sure you check it out. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay excellent. And we'll see you guys next week in the next Proper Gaming Talk Show. Peace. Have a good weekend, guys.